The pigment in our skin is called melanin. And the type of melanin we have determines the color of our skin as well as our hair and our eyes. Why do we need melanin? Because it protects our skin from harmful UV radiation. The skin produces and accumulates more melanin when exposed to UV radiation, pollution or certain types of drugs and hormones. UV radiation is the number one culprit of hyperpigmentation. That's why accumulated exposure or overexposure to UV radiation from the sun can worsen difficult skin pigmentary problems such as melasma. Other causes of hyperpigmentation are the overuse of harsh skincare products and inflammatory skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis and acne. Any inflammation and irritation of the skin can cause post-inflammatory skin hyperpigmentation. We must be realistic about how effective skincare products can be. For those with conditions like eczema and acne, it is best to visit a dermatologist to learn how to manage them. You must avoid scratching, picking or squeezing the skin. Remember, any inflammation or irritation of the skin can activate melanin production causing the skin to darken. Another thing is, when treating pigmentation, always be gentle and avoid overdoing it with skin peels, scrubs or lasers as they may do more harm than good. Too much exfoliating can also reduce the protective layer of your skin cells which allows UV radiation to penetrate more easily, causing your skin to be more photosensitive. Most importantly, speak to your dermatologist if you have any skin condition that does not get better with simple remedies. You must start by cleansing and moisturising daily with gentle products to maintain a healthy skin barrier. That means your skin is hydrated, supple and calm. Never use harsh products on your skin and try to simplify your skincare regime as using too many products on your face can increase the risk of skin irritation and pigmentation. Most importantly, always use a broad-spectrum sunscreen for optimal protection as UV radiation is the main cause of pigmentary disorders.